Hi, my name is Benjamin Reynolds, and in this video we're going to be looking at using the ECO Recompile from within Signal tab. First, we'll review the benefits of using ECO Recompile with Signal tab. Then, we'll look at what's supported for ECO Recompile in Signal tab. And finally, we'll walk through a feature demonstration that will allow us to see how we can significantly reduce compile times for Signal tab debug iterations. Utilizing the ECO flow allows users to make small changes to the SignalTap instance without needing to go through an entire design compilation. For large designs, this can make a significant impact on the speed of which users can debug their issues. Additionally, ECO recompiles are capable of editing debug logic without displacing any of the user logic. This means 100% user logic timing preservation throughout ECO recompiles. Overall, this will assist users in making quick progress through their debug flow and solving their debug issues. Once users have successfully completed a full compilation that includes a SignalTap instance, certain changes can still be made to their SignalTap instance without requiring the user to recompile their entire design. It's important to note that ECO recompile features are only supported for post-fit tap targets, which means it's best to use post-fit taps wherever possible. Once a user has completed a full compilation and they want to make changes to their SignalTap logic within ECO support, they're able to add and or remove any post-fit taps. They can change the inputs to any of their post-fit triggers, and if a netlist mapping is found by SignalTap, they can convert their presynthesis taps to post-fit taps. Looking at an example of utilizing the ECO flow, after undergoing two full compilations, one for the base compile, and one for adding a signal tap instance, users can yield large time savings by utilizing ECO recompiles as they make their changes to their signal tap logic while progressing through their debug flow. Let's now look at a quick demonstration of the feature. Starting out with a very simple design, we have a full compilation that has included the following signal tap instance. The first thing we'll do is remove a couple of the nodes. Then we'll go and add some other nodes. It's important that we use one of the post fit filters. And then let's say we're going to change some of the inputs. We'll also change this last trigger condition to an AND. And notice we can try to change this presynthesis to a post fitting node, but we'll see that we get red here, which means that there isn't a mapping being found. And if we continue with this compilation, this will be grounded. So instead, we'll change it back to the presynthesis node. Finally, we'll go ahead and save it, and then we'll click the recompile button. The first thing we notice is that we get this GUI that tells us whether all of our changes are supported. Here we notice that everything that we've made is supported, which allows us to continue by pressing the recompile. First, I want to show you what happens if you do something that's not supported. Let's go back and try to add a presynthesis node. Let's add this command, we'll insert, then we'll save, and we'll try to recompile. Notice we get a bunch of not supported to the node that we just tried to add because it's a presynthesis node. So we'll cancel, we'll go ahead and delete this, and then we'll go through and save again, recompile, and now we get a clean bill of health, allowing us to press the recompile button. And we'll now go through a much quicker ECO flow. If users want to try to save even more time in their SignalTap debug flow, they can try adding a SignalTap instance to their design during the base compile to avoid needing to go through a full compilation simply for the purpose of adding a SignalTap instance. From there, they can use the ECO flow to configure the SignalTap instances needed. 
On top of that, users are encouraged to utilize the Preserve for Debug attribute in RTL to make sure nodes of interest remain in the post-fit netlist to make post-fit debugging easier for the user. In summary, using the ECO recompile flow allows users to make edits to the post-fit nodes in compiled signal tap instances without requiring a new entire compilation. Taking advantage of this will yield you large time savings during the debug. Happy debugging!